Hey guys, just got back from running errands and trying to get this video busted out before husband gets back with Cal from kindergarten. Hope you guys have been well. Um, I've been trying to do this video for a while, but husband got sick and just could not find some time alone to do this that I knew that I wouldn't be interrupted. So I want to thank you guys, subscribers, and the usual people that leave comments and the new people that leave comments. I totally appreciate it. And I love reading your guys' comments and they make me smile. Um, they make me laugh more than anything. And they're just really, you can just tell that they're very heartfelt. And I definitely appreciate it after you watch my video that you make a comment, um, that you take that little extra time. So thank you guys. I definitely appreciate that a lot. Got a lot to show you. I have been busy. Abby and I are on roll. Whatever is in us, we should figure out, bottle it up and sell it. Cause I think a lot of people would definitely buy it. Abby, I think we should, we're onto something. Um, I have two finishes fully finished. You know me. I don't let my stuff sit around long enough, um, which I'll have to run out and get it. But let me just show you, I guess, my first finish. It's kind of overcast today, so I'm trying to get enough light in here. Um, so I'll just start off. And I got notes. It's going to be a cluster of what's going on. Um, now let's just start with notes first, because that'll be easier okay birthday photos i will add that in the beginning of this video no towards the end let's go to the end so let's talk about it um yeah so that's what i wore for my birthday i'm thinking maybe wearing it for new year's i'm going out on sunday um to go shopping with a couple of my girlfriends i kind of want to wear something along the same lines as what i wore for my birthday photo at the end of the video um, but we'll see. I need to alter it though. Um, I know you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but I need to make it a little bit tighter along the shoulders to hold this together. You'll understand. Enjoy. Um, Sandra Lynch, shout out to her. She's the sunroom stitcher. Um, so Abby and I have been kind of showing like our relative items, but Sandra shows her grandma's apron and I have my great grandma's apron. Yes, okay. I'm coming back. So when we were going through my, my aunt's things, my great aunt, uh, my mom's aunt, um, I found this in the bottom of like an old trunk um, and my grandpa is pretty sure that this is what his mom wore, the Italian that spoke no English. Um, you look at it and it's definitely handmade. Um, but yeah, he's pretty sure that this is an apron that, that she wore. So I have it just hanging up over the, the corner of, of my hutch there. Um... New one, new stitcher, Laura X Stitches. Um, actually, no, she's not. She just doesn't have a ton of videos, which I love her videos, so I hope that you she makes more. Um, teacher, she does hates. She has a ton of finishes. She's young, bright, spunky. Um, let an Irwin in. So yeah, Laura X Stitches is definitely a, uh, a stitcher you guys want to watch. Um, and now we have a new guy to the mix. Ladies, let's not scare him off, even though he's over in England. Then some of our England people, I don't know, scare him. Philip is Pip Stitch, P-I-P Stitch. Um, he does a the Great Needle Worker tag to learn a little more about him. He does beautiful hades. Um, just absolutely gorgeous 
and he does a, he's working on, yeah, I'm pretty sure a Teresa Wensler piece. That's amazing. Um, so go ahead and check him out if you haven't already. I'll list the three of them down below. Um, in cross stitch and discuss, there was a five day challenge this week. It started this past Wednesday to tomorrow, Friday night, and it was to take a whip, see how much you could get done, um, to hopefully knock it out. Um, oh, and then we were to do a before Monday and then after on Friday. So I worked on my Frida piece. I knew I could get it done. I didn't have a lot left. I had one little portrait motif left and then the writing and that was it. So I thought this would just be stupid to have hanging around. Um, try to bust it out by the end of um, the year. Oh, Erwin wants to come up. Come on, come on, come on. Erwin, say hi to your friends, to all your fans. looking out the window. He doesn't like it because I have a wreath blocking the window so he can't see the birdies but I think he also likes it because then it's kind of like a protective camouflage form. Always. Always. Good old Erwin. Um, so my piece, the Frida piece that I finished and framed this morning. Love it. Um, there needs to be a size frame between, because there's no, there's the five by seven, um, which is like the perfect size. And then the eight by 10, which was way too big. There needs to be someone in the middle. Um, and obviously I wasn't going to do custom framing on this. Um, <laughs> so Hobby Lobby frame and framed it myself. And I absolutely love how this turned out. This was the last um, portrait that I needed to do. Good job, Erwin. Um, so I stayed up like till like 11 o'clock last night and finished that up. Did the writing as I was outside with my boys. And it says, feet, what do I need you for when I have wings to fly? Love that. Um, so if you look up her artwork, it's not for everyone. It's morbid, it's sexual in nature. Um, I absolutely love her. I love that she was unique. She was kind of the first female artist to draw what she drew. Um, I think she was just like a total badass and I think I don't know, I guess I can relate to that. Um, so the one here, I just have a couple to show if you're not familiar with her artwork. So this one here is called Two Fridas. And this was out of a calendar and I um, framed it. Can you wait? Okay, well here, take my water. And bye bye. <laughs> Okay, take the water. Poo poo. No. Get the water and go out. Get the poo poo. Get the water and get out. Okay. All right. Okay. Daddy will be home in a couple minutes. Okay. All right. Oh. The joys of having boys. Anyway, so this is what Two Fridas looks like, and it's actually a huge. Um, it's a huge painting. I saw it when her work was on display in San Francisco and I drove over there and saw it. Um, so yeah, two Fridas. This is one of my favorites of hers. And this one here column. This one I can relate to. So, um, I know, oh my God, it's boobs, people. Um, and if you look really close, I did, um, okay, let's hold one thing at a time. If you look really close, I did French knot nipples. That's right, that's right. Don't be jealous. So I had scoliosis surgery when I was 
about 15. And this is basically how I felt afterwards. Um, I have two titanium rods in my back, five inches long, six inches long, eight screws and eight bolts. This is it. This is what I felt like. I felt like a broken column afterwards. She, Frida, had a pretty bad um, accident when she was younger. She was in a like a city bus and there was a horrible crash. Um, and she had all kinds of injuries and continued to have back problems throughout her life. Um, and basically she was on a full body cast for a while in the hospital. Um, so I just love, I love this piece by her and I was thrilled that it was in the Clouds factory. And if Frida's not your thing, that's fine. I know Clouds factory has a Van Gogh one. Um, Monet, I think that's it, but it's the Mini Artist Galleries, so go ahead and check that out. So this makes finish number 13 for me for this year, um, and I don't know if it was on my year of whips, if I have the Frida piece down, no. So I have all my finishes written down that I've done this year. Um, and then I have my year of whips listed. Um, so, I mean, I'd like to get everything that's done on this, but then it's like I'm buying new patterns that I feel trump my year of, my year of whips. And to me, my whips are not necessarily stitch in fabric. A whip to me could be chart and fabric ready to go because obviously I have the floss. So none of these have actually necessarily been started, started. Um, oh, my other finish. Let me run out and get that. You can enjoy my beautiful room. Erwin's in here, don't believe anything he says. No Pepe today, he is, uh, I think he's hibernating in the closet. Um, oh look, Wally, you gonna say hi? Wally, everyone loves Wally. Wally. Wally's ready for Christmas. Oh no, you're not? You need like a little Santa hat or something. All right, so my finish from earlier in the week was my Marquise piece. Love this. I know that I have enabled quite a few people to go on one, two, three and purchase it. Too bad. Hey, Wally. Too bad I don't get some sort of cut for every time the chart is sold. Um, that's okay. Four colors, people. I know that people have been shocked by that. This is four colors. Dark pink, light pink, brown, um, and green. Could you substitute it out for whatever colors? Absolutely. If you want to do it in like a brown or in like a blue style or a red style, I love the combination of these four. So it's, I'm, I'm just, let's see if I close this. Oh, okay. That works. The little lamb, or the, the sheep here, adorable. I love her. Her dress is just spectacular. When I finished her first and then kind of walk, worked um, clockwise to finish, I was just staring at her and just thought her the dress is just unbelievable. Love the building up here at the top. Um, and then these squares here. But no, absolutely love it. Loved how it turned out. I did this on 
Oh my god, are you kidding me? See, this is what happens when you have pets. It looks like I gotta un... I have to undo it. I have a huge cat hair right here under the glass. Yeah, that's gonna drive me nuts. I don't remember what I did this on. I can totally look it up if, look it up if anyone is interested. Um, but framed it myself, got this. It's a brown wooden frame from Hobby Lobby. I didn't want to do white because this is not white. I did this on an ivory because I think white has like a, sometimes a too, it's too harsh, that striking crisp white. Um, and I kind of wanted this to have an older kind of vibe to it. So um, I think this is antique white I did it on. I wanted, I know, maybe about an inch, inch and a quarter of it showing around. Saw the frame. Um, I put up a white frame against it. Obviously didn't go. I didn't want anything kind of ornate um, because I didn't want it to take away from the stitched piece itself. So the lady at Hobby Lobby brought this over and she brought a couple brown frames and I wanted to make sure that the brown matched this brown in it. Um, and I love how this turned out. So I'm so happy. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, let's see what else I will not be finishing. I, I don't think I'll have any more finishes for the year. If I do, it'll be birds of a feather. Remember me. I'm at the, I'll show you. I'm at the houses and the part with Pepe in the coffin. I don't know. I think that that would take me a while. So... We'll see. I kind of feel now that I only have two whips. I only have two projects, Nightmare and Remember Me. I feel like I want to start something new. I think that I deserve it. Um, but seeing Abby finish Nightmare, now I want to finish mine. Um, I have way more to go, though. Um, I don't know. I'd, I'll get it done, though, because I'm going to put that into the state fair. So I know that that'll be... A 2017 completion for sure. Um, let me check my notes. Um, okay. Thank you for everyone that's gone on my Amazon store. Um, I'm going to like the mailbox or to the post office like every day, every other day. And the people are getting to know me. Luckily, there's a kiosk. Um, so I just use the kiosk so I don't have to wait in these horrendous lines. Oh my god, have you been to the post office? And of course, um, no offense to any government workers who watch my videos, but I think because they are government workers working in the post office, they work in reverse. So they ha at my post office, they have five st slots where people could... No, they usually only have two or three people. They're working super, super slow. Then they have this manager guy yelling out that pickups or drop-offs. Um, why don't you take one of the people in line every once in a while? So it, I'm just happy I got my packages that the needle minders can fit in. Um, and I can just do the little kiosk in and out. Okay, I finally got my order from ABC. They, no, 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 out. Daddy's gonna be home soon, out. Go. Thank you. Wally, hey, stop. Oh my God, people. Let me make a damn video. Okay, so finally got my package from ABC. They frustrate the hell out of me because I believe, unlike 123, who has their stuff in stock and send it out to you like two days later, um, yeah, I think ABC 
they always say that they have to wait, you know, 10 to 14 days for it to come in from their, oh, excuse me, their supplier. So you're waiting two weeks alone just for them to get the stuff that you ordered. Then whatever amount of time it takes for them to ship it. I don't know. The only reason why I placed an order with them was their Black Friday sale. Um, what I wanted was cheaper on ABC than on 123. And I don't think 123 had this one that I was going to show you. So, um, absolutely love my son's kindergarten teacher. Um, I'm not sure when teacher appreciation week is or day. I know it's next, I know it's not in December, so I know I'm good. Um, trying to think what could I stitch her that would be unique. Her name, her first name is Holly. And I remember like the first week of school, my son came home and said, oh, um, she, her first name's Holly and she's named after the hollyhock flower. So I was looking at clearance on ABC and this is the flower, the hollyhock flower um, by the Bay Needle work, art, by the Bay Needle art, funky flowers. So this is the holly, so I'll be stitching this for for her. Um, I've seen this out, I know people are stitching it. Plum Street Sampler, Mermaid, Fractor, yeah, Fractor. Love this. Am I a huge fan of mermaids? No, but I kind of like the primitive look about it. Um, then, I don't, I'm not gonna start, I'm not gonna start this. I, McKenna, will not start this until Nightmare is done. And no, Abby, you cannot borrow it because you're done with Nightmare. Um, Abby, do you have this? Emily, do you have this? Does anyone have this? Because I have not seen anyone stitch on it. So, hopefully, no one is like, oh, I've started that, or I have that. Um, started it. Have it is one thing, but actually started it. I'm gonna get the ball rolling. Beasties, Courtney collection. What do I love about this? Let's see. Um, this devil guy, Satan, yeah, love him. The bird with the snake, come on. Um, this bird here with the frog, or it's, I know it's, it's, it's supposed to be a frog, but it looks like a human, see? So the bird with the human, I love that. Um, so yeah. Love this. Love it. Okay. What else? I put in a huge, not huge, um, an order with one, two, three last night. So that should be coming. Um, what else? Still at this house. Hell yeah. Um, non-stitchy related stuff. I had to get it, people. My youngest saw it and he was like, Mom, you have to get it. Look, it's Pepe. That's right. So, now Pe I can just carry Pepe with me all the time. Then I saw this bag. Because you know people mean clutches. Look at this. Crazier, wild, the better. Um, and then it comes with a chain as well. Love this. Um, let me make sure I don't have any other, what are we at? Okay. Uh, oh, here's another, here's another bag. So if I see any sort of like funky bags or anything at thrift stores or wherever, I get them. Now, 
when will I use this? I have no freaking idea. No idea. It's heavy. Um, gorgeous. Beads. This handle. And then look at how it opens. It's like this, like, mother of pearl. It's not gonna... I can see it here. It's lined all the way around. Um, so... As I saw this, I grabbed it, um, and I looked up who made it, and they go for quite much more than what I got it for, so totally had to grab it. Um, now I do have stuff. Let's see. Oh, and then I know I'll get a Christmas. Oh, let's do another Halloween piece. So this was also at the thrift store. It's like a memo board. So then you use these pins to put down your memo. Yeah, no, that's going. This is a cool ass frame I'm gonna use for some Halloween piece. Um, so yeah, you guys think outside of the box when you're at thrift stores. You can, even if it's just the frame itself, it's easy enough to just get the bat which could just be foam board or cardboard for all I care and frame it. So I have that. Um, Hirschner's got the magazine. God, their stuff's expensive. Cause it's like, if you like anything, you can just go on one, two, three or, or wherever else and find it. Um, I thought I saw something in here for Miss Terry. Oh yeah, hey Terry, can you stitch me something, please? Thanks, thanks mom. Um, no, they had some cute stuff in in here. Fox. Um, I don't do foxes. Foxes are cute. Don't get me wrong. Foxes are cute. I like to try to stick with the whole Pepe thing. And since Danielle brought it up, which shout out to Danielle. So glad to hear that the procedure went well. Um, now she has me looking at advertisements for stitching. And you can tell that they're so staged because the women don't have their shit all over. Um, and they're smiling. Okay, there are some times that we're smiling as we're stitching, like, oh yay, we haven't effed up yet, or I'm not, I don't have to frog. Okay, it's obvious these women are totally staging it. Yeah, I don't think so. And shoes on, whatever, you get comfy as hell. Um, yeah, that looks like the most uncomfortable position to stitch in. And here, yeah, you'd have like kids grabbing at your stuff. You'd have the chart. They need to make these more realistic. No one stitches like that. No one. Oh, I think, I think this one, this one's the best. Yeah. No way in hell. Um... I got a package from Cherise, Miss Dankai, the one and only, the lovely. Um, got some needle minders and wanted to show those off to you guys. Um, they came all nicely wrapped with the cute little sticker. I'll leave all of her information down below as well. Um, they're totally my personality. This one's like a um, soda cap top. Um, with like resin. Look at that girl. Love her. It's like how I would dress. It's totally like something I would wear. This purple one with rhinestones. Um, just like a little fairy. And they're nice and they're large and the magnets are fantastic and then she has um, she puts these on the back to help take them off. 
Um, and then this one that is on, I wanna say it's like a birch wood tile. Um, super shiny and smooth. Love that. It's like teals and, and greens. So thank you, thank you guys. Go check out her needle minders. I know um, for my needle minders, I don't ship internationally just because the postage is just ridiculous. So for those that live on the other side, check her out. Um, so thank you for sending me those. I think that is it, people. That is it. I think I'm gonna do a new start. What? I have no idea. Ink circles, maybe? <sighs> okay, my ornaments. I was gonna do the 12 Days of Christmas Satsuma Street. Yeah, that's going away. So, I stitched the first one. I found a frame. So I stitched it, found a frame. I took the glass out to put around the edge, like, oh, okay, yeah, that's how I'll measure it and it'll fit. Put in the red outline that goes around these. Popped it into the frame loosely. Yeah, red was cut off. Unfrogged the whole red. <sighs> and then I sprayed it onto the back of the cardboard that was in the picture frame. Put it in, picture frame would not close. It's one of the um, pop-in, pop-out ones from Hobby Lobby. It was too thick. Just this and the stitch part was too thick. It will not close. So I'm going to have to restitch this one. This is the only one I did, thank goodness. Restitch this red border and I have to use a four by six frame. So, because this did not work out, I've lost all love for the 12 ornaments. Yeah. So I'm not gonna do ornaments like on the tree, that's what I was thinking, but four by six frames on my tree would just look ridiculous. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll frame them individually um, and then set them along somewhere. We have my TV entertainment unit, um, and that's probably just where I'll line them up for next year. So it turned out super cute though. Love the colors. But yeah, I kind of lost all love for it. I'm kind of upset. Um, Cause they only took me like two days to do when I was gonna, you know, bust them all out and, <sighs> oh well. So in 70s, no snow, no rain. For God's sakes, I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt. Um, husband hasn't bought anything that's made me need to buy anything. So we're good there. No, I don't know what we're doing for Christmas. I think we're going over to my parents, keeping it easy. Um, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching, subscribing, commenting. If you have any questions, concerns, feel free, let me know, put them down below. Um, and I'll be back with you guys, I don't know when. I was thinking maybe trying to do the whole blog thing, vlog thing. So maybe that's what I'll do for my next video. I'll kind of vlog each day and put them all together. Um, and we'll see how that works out. And if I like it, maybe I'll keep it that style or I'll just kind of do this whole sit down all at once. Um, so, all right guys, have a fabulous weekend that is coming up and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.